Oh man, construction, Bob. The biodome is looking fantastic. I can see that the uh, first set of volunteers is just about ready to move in. This is finally a place where the people of Brick Rigs can go and live in safety and harmony and not have to worry about aliens or insurance rates or dinosaurs or Ugandan knuckles or I don't know, the other military forces of Bricksburg and all there have you. I gotta tell you, it really, I, I, I was a little worried about using rusted metal for the uh, the outer structure there, but it really seems to be holding up quite well. That's right, Gray, and all in good time too, because it looks like Bricksburg is going to try to put an end to the biodome. Wait, what? We just spent like three billion brick bucks on this semi-spherical tetanus hole. That I swear to God, if someone blows this thing up, I'm gonna lose my mind and flip a table. Don't worry, Gray. The biodome has the best and strongest defenses for such a thing. Okay, this smile on my face is, is not properly indicative of how I feel about the situation. Construction Bob, what is that? That is Brickburg's feeble attempt at destroying my masterpiece. Feeble attempt? The tank is bigger than my house. You sure that it can take a hit from that thing? Of course, Gray. Watch and be amazed. Wow, Construction Bob, I gotta hand it to you. Using the rusted metal was fantastic. We're gonna save a lot of money on this. All it did was bust up a little bit of the uh, the exterior there. The interior of the city is totally fine. In fact, we have enough time to defend ourselves now. Uh, hey, hey Jambo, can you can you take care of this over here? I gotta clean up on uh, on aisle nine. Just go ahead and just go ahead and clean that right up for us. Hey, great! I'm gonna hit this thing so hard it's gonna be paying my wife's alimony for me. I. Jambo, just stick, don't, don't say that. Just stick to shooting guns, all right? That's what you're good at. Aim the things on the, on the, on the giant tank and press the button. There's only one button this time. I made sure to keep it simple for you, buddy. Hey, Gray, I, I pressed the button. I got him. Good good job, buddy. I'll I'll buy you a donut later, man. Well, way to go. Pat yourself on the back. Good smash up job. All right. Well, all in all, I think I can say it's been a, uh, a relatively good day here in Bricksville. Uh, let's go ahead and patch that wall up and have everyone start moving into the... Wait, Gray, there is a bomb incoming. We haven't repaired the dome yet. What, what kind of bomb? Is this a big deal? We deal with bombs every day. Yes, Gray. This is probably the biggest bomb we've ever dealt with. Uh, well, Construction Bob, uh, go ahead and take a picture of the dome, because I guess that's going to be the last vestige to remember it by. Oh, nothing happened. The bomb didn't explode. Everyone's completely fine. It's like a big dud. All right, well, uh, I don't know. I guess, I guess everyone back to work. No big deal. Great. Bricksburg couldn't bring down the dome, so they decided to crash our game. This means war. So, Bricksburg has been invading Bricksville for its delicious, nutrient-rich... I don't, I don't even know if that makes sense. They've been trying to take our resources, all right? And right over here, look at this accurate depiction of the glory that is Bricksburg. But today, we're finally gonna get to fight back. All of its residential splendor and its lovely trees and its mall and its military bases and its its motor 
vehicle dealership and everything else, it's all gonna get vaporized. At least I think it will. We're going to drop the most powerful bomb ever made on this. I haven't gotten the bomb to legitimately go off without breaking the game. So my goal right now is to get this bomb to explode without crashing brick rigs. Here we go. Looks like a fairly unimpressive bomb, right? It's 5,000 bricks. It's 5,000 bricks stuffed in there almost. I hereby dub the the sad maker. Let's see if it can blow up. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And right down here, okay, so it hit. It's just kind of flubbing around. I, I really don't know what's happening. Okay, right here, I think, is when time and space begins to bend in upon itself. I always get to this part, but I don't know what the bomb does after it freezes the game. Oh my god. All I can hear are subtle explosion sounds in the background. I don't know if it's coming from the game or from my processor. Okay, all right, and the bomb worketh. I, it pushed the city of Bricksburg through the ground before making it do like a triple axle. All the judges are going to give that a 9 out of 10 right there on that axle. That is a 9 out of 10. I'm pretty impressed. It did a lot of good damage. I'm just surprised at how much it stresses the, the processor before the death rains down. Maybe we need something like smaller to test it on to really, to really feel its destructive capabilities. Okay, let's try this. See, instead of like a whole city, it's just like a sweet neighborhood, so to speak. Let's drop a bomb on this and see if we can catch the legitimate explosion. I say legitimate explosion, like there's an illegitimate explosion. I decided to go for this house. Why? I don't know. We'll do it in slow motion just to see if anything changes. All right, so there's the initial busting of like the head of the bomb. And you can see it just kind of crumbles to the ground. Not really doing anything. Not, never mind, now it's doing something. It's almost like it has a fuse on it, see? Or it just has to get really, really angry before it blows up. What is that? <laughs> like the head of the bomb or something. Well, it messed up the fence, that's for sure. Full speed, make us proud. Okay. Now, I think this is where it normally pushes the structure through the ground. Okay, the bomb has, all it's done is turned into, like, one of the lamps. You see, it's just kind of statically sitting there next to the leftmost lamp. It's like a piece of modern art. I don't really know if I could, if I could consider it a destruction implement. It's, it's very destruction-y when it destructionates. When it doesn't destructionate, it just kind of hangs out and looks cool. All right, so I think a little bit, a little bit more generic firepower might be needed to take down Bricksburg. We have this over here. It's a pit of sadness. You put whatever you don't want to see anymore inside, and then you press the button, <coughs> and then you die. This thing is like perfectly made for Jambo. I don't know what would happen if we put something inside. Let's try it with something pretty typical. Titans are great for this kind of thing. Oh, I died randomly. All right, let's try that again. Pit of Doom versus Titan, take one. I don't know. Did it do some damage? How are the legs looking? Oh, there's no legs left. That's how it's looking. How quickly can it fire? Like, as the new chunk of the Titan falls, will we get to continuously cut up its entire body? It did. It completely evaporated the legs. All right, there's the next chunklet. See, basically the Titan is getting fed into this, this shredder. It's basically like a weaponized shredder. You can see right over there. Mmm. Yes. Plenty of explosions. I think we may have taken down a random building as well. Eh, it's a small price to pay for dealing with the Titans once and for all. You can see his sad Titan head bobbling back and forth. Is it to say, why, Gray? Why? Why would you do this? I didn't do this. Bricksburg did this. Fire the pit of doom. All that's left in a moment will be the head. Because I'm pretty sure that this spray is going to remove the body from 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 the entire rest of the creature. Ah, perfect. You can't even see anymore. I don't even know what those little those little Cheerio things are. I don't know if that's part of the 
the spinal column or like little blood platelets or giblets or something like that. Thanksgiving dinner flying out of this creature's abdomen as what's left of its head falls sadly to the ground. And as the smoke clears, full speed. Just because. Woo! Got another accidental building down. Small price to pay. Well, we liquefied a, uh, a titan. I think we did pretty good. So the pit of doom definitely works. Okay. Imagine this thing rolling in on the city. Now, someone wanted to see some of our ridiculous guns versus mechs. So here is a freaking sweet mech walker. And we're going to go ahead and use the brand new weapon against it to see if we can ruin this thing. Oh no, it's going for the city. Whatever shall we do? We're going to fire ludicrous amounts of fire per out at fire. All right. So let's see how well this thing can take. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, it's being RKO'd. It is, it is getting its head beaten against the ground. I have no idea what just happened. Okay, stop, 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 stop the cannons of sadness. It did not just get hit by the far power. It got like body slammed. What was that? That wasn't a normal, that wasn't normal damage at all. Uh, okay, uh, take two, I guess. Because I need to find out what happened here. Now, you can see right this little groin area. Oh, it dodged. It learned how to dance. Never mind. It didn't really dodge at all. Hold on. We can fix this. Ready? Let's uh, let's control this thing a little bit. And now we just got to start raising it up. See, it's kind of like just a spray. You just spray and hope you hit it. You know, this is what Rambo does. This is what Arnold does. If it's good enough for them, it's good enough for us. I think we're I think we're getting some hits in now. We we may also end up take taking a building out by accident. Yep. Yeah. yeah, we're definitely taking a building out by accident. But it's gonna walk into the spray. Here we go. There's your mechs. There's your sadness. There's your destruction. That's where all the military dollars is going. Alright. Go ahead and go ahead and chill out there, buddy. Oh, we did it! See, everything's on fire. Everything's flaming. Can this thing take out, like, a whole cohort of these creatures? Yeah, probably. All right, there's a lot of bricks, man. Here's the plan. We're going to sweep from left to right. Ready? Set. Go. All right. The damage is going. Now we just have to, like, hold on. We just have to start moving the weapon. A little bit of this. Get out, and now it should all- Yes! Okay, good. So now it's just gonna auto-sweep through all of the mechs. Here we go. Mech number one, getting sawed. Fantastic. Mech number two, right through the midsection. Every bit is glorious. Mech number three, same deal. I think we did some pretty good damage. Now right, let's bring it back over here. Let's go the opposite way. I'm gonna raise this up a little bit like this. There we go. Perfect. Coming around for another pass, baby. Let's get that arc of fire in there. Good. Yes. Oh, it is like a little circular saw of ammo. I'm pretty. It cut straight through the building all the way in the back too. The building doesn't appear to be falling though, so maybe it'll be fine. Yeah, the building's okay. All right. Good. We did it. Oh, it's going in a circle. It just keeps going. Whoa. The circle's pretty fast. Like, it really kind of buzzes around. There we are. All right. Deadly Mech Zero. Bricksville 2. Now, I know what you're saying. But, Gray, how well can it take out a giant alien swarm? So, we have our swarm of aliens. We're going to get our gun kind of measured up here. And we're going to start firing. I don't know if we're on the money, though. The aliens are moving pretty swiftly. So, yeah, we totally missed. Don't you worry. This thing has a fantastic arc of fire. We're going to make these aliens pay. They are not going to be taking out the city today. All right, the way the aliens are flying, I would say, like, right about here should do it. You know, I don't know if the bullets can reach the aliens from here. Or the cannon fire, I should say. They're so far away, I don't really know when it begins to render out. Yeah. The aliens got away. All right, we're doing it again. Open fire, baby. Come on, get those aliens down. 
The whole lot of them are going to crash into the city. Actually, several of them have already crashed. Actually, they're all just crashing into the city. They're really not doing very much. They're just crashing into the city. In fact, I have a feeling that our... Yeah. Our tank over here is going to end up doing more damage than the aliens. Okay, I kind of want to see if I can fly through this. You ready? We're going to see if we can fly through the beam of devastation. Right about like... Right about like... Look at that. Oh, that's like a millimeter away. We managed to dodge that one. Now that caught me. That was bad. The aliens are getting wrecked now. Several of them have gotten caught within the beams of sadness. And from that, the particulates of depression rain across the green scape. I think that one got soccer kicked after it hit the ground. It, like it hit the ground and then it got freaking punted by the beam. All right, really slow flying aliens versus hellfire rockets. Fire the rockets. Okay, the rockets are kind of limply firing. They're just sort of bouncing toward the aliens. Here we go. Now we got some rockets flying in here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, the rockets are doing good. The rockets are starting to blow aliens up. It's what we always wanted. It's perfect. Look over there. Alien, possibly the ground is blowing up the aliens, but as they bounce off the ground, the rockets are definitely catching some aliens. All right, aliens are incoming. Fire again. Fire the sad missiles. The limp rockets. That was a direct hit right over there. Fantastic. Yeah, it hit some of them, but it's tough because the aliens kind of, oh, one alien craft ended up flying into another alien craft. Oh, they're attacking. They're attacking the rocket dispenser over here. But uh, the rocket dispenser can take that kind of hit and just shrug it off. All right, so that's pretty good for, like, an aerial invasion. When it comes to dealing with Bricksburg's own city, though, I have a feeling there's better ways to wipe them out. All right, I'm really curious to see what this does to the city. So I'm just going to put this in the middle. And we'll watch it as it begins to break physics. Oh. It's just melding in its entirety with the city. This is interesting. It's It's... It's like a Borg thing. It's assimilating the entirety of the city. Probably because it doesn't interact with any other objects in order to make it what it is. All right. That's what this is for. This should do it. Th <coughs> How did I destroy all the buildings around Bricksburg, but not Bricksburg? Uh, attempt number two? Nope. Took down the one building that was left. All right, number three. This is it. There it is. Finally, we have hit Bricksburg. Okay, so as long as we throw enough firepower at the place, we are sure to win the war. It's pro It'll probably be more costly than just rebuilding all the buildings that they destroy, but that's not how we do things over here at Bricksville. Hey, folks, that's going to be it for this episode of Brick Rigs. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.